In this video, I wanna continue talking about the t-test. Uh, here, this is an example where researchers studying the average height in males age 20 to 49. Uh, and what the researcher found was um, uh, for a, a certain data set of uh, 20 patients, the researcher found their uh, height in centimeters to be the following. And prior research indicates that the population mean for such individuals for their height is 175 centimeters. And we wanna know, does this researcher have enough evidence uh, does she have enough evidence to show that the mean height for males is less than 175 centimeters at the 5% significance level? And this is the first time where we're doing a one-tailed hypothesis test. Our hypothesis, uh, the null hypothesis, uh, is that the population mean is equal to 175. The alternative hypothesis is that the population mean is strictly less than 175. So again, that's the only question is, do we have enough evidence to show that the mean height is less than 175. That's all we wanna know. Uh, and either we have enough evidence to overturn um, the uh, status quo, to overturn the uh, prior research, or we do not have enough evidence to overturn the prior research. That does not tell us that the prior research is right or wrong. We're just trying to figure out, do we have enough evidence to, to override prior research or not? So, this is gonna be a, a one-tailed, in this case, a left-tailed t-test. It's left-tailed because this is uh, mu is less than 175. And what we're gonna do is let's jump over to R. Um, so what I wanna do is I wanna take this data <clears throat> and I'm gonna load it into R just by literally copying and pasting everything that we have. Um, so let's copy and paste our data and Okay, so now that we've done that, let me share my screen with you. So you should be able to see R at this point. So we copy and pasted our data. We should have 20 data points. And what we wanna do is we wanted to run a t-test. So t.test with our data. And again, probably shouldn't call this X. Maybe if you wanna call this uh, data heights or something like that. Um, so when you're actually doing data and you have to work with lots of different sets of data, you usually should give them names like that. Um, Anyways, so we wanted to check uh, whether or not the data supports whether the, the mean is 175 or not. Our alternative uh, is uh, less. So what that means is that the alternative hypothesis is that the mu is less than 175. Uh, and this is all we need to run the test. We're doing this at the 5% significance level. If we get a p-value that's less than or equal to 0.05, we have enough evidence to overturn prior research. If we get a p-value that's bigger than 0.05, uh, we do not have enough evidence. So uh, there we go. Um, our t, our studentized value that we get is uh, this. We have 19 degrees of freedom because, of course, we have, uh, of course, we have uh, 20 data points. We have a p-value of 0.26. And so what that means is that we don't have enough data uh, to overturn the prior research, um, the prior research saying that the mean height was 175. Okay, so we don't have enough. This confidence interval is a little bit strange, so ignore that in this case. Um, don't worry about confidence intervals for one-tailed tests are a little bit strange. We're not gonna talk about them in this course, so we can ignore that. Uh, and then the sample mean, remember that they give you this extra information, the sample mean is 173.58. Okay, so here's our p-value. This is really what we need to know in order to make a decision. And it turns out we do not have enough evidence to overturn the prior research. Okay, and this is all we had to do in that case. 